Why isn't Kansas ranked? AP voters, you have one job. Well, not really. They have multiple jobs, and they actually just vote as an AP voter on the side. But you have one job. When you sign up to that, by the way, I was an AP voter five years ago, six years ago. And when you see how the sausage is made, you don't want any part of it because you realize that it is junk. I think that the AP poll is junk. I really do. And and there's a lot of really well-intentioned people within the AP poll, and they're trying their best, but it's junk. And and it, it it is so biased towards your previous assumptions that it's just moving chess pieces rather than reevaluating what actually takes place on any given Saturday on the field. And this is why I get so fired up about it is because it matters to these programs. It matters to these coaches. It matters to the administrators. It matters to the players, whether they're ranked or not. It can affect their gait. It can affect their their ability to recruit. Their, their ability can, to recruit then directly affects their ability to win games on the field. Their ability to win games on the field directly impacts their job status. So this is not just like in the wind. You know, it's like, oh, but it doesn't matter, Joel. Don't worry. The AP poll doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. College football is still a subjective sport. And we've got to get away from this, this dynamic that we have our predetermined notions of teams affecting how we view teams once those games have been played. Let me give you an example. Team A and Team B. Okay, Team A was unranked in the preseason. In fact, didn't receive a vote. Not one. Not one. Team B was ranked 17th in the preseason. Team A is undefeated. They have the sixth bank best strength of record. They have two road wins. They are the fourth ranked scoring offense in America. And they have scored 27 touchdowns tied with Ohio State for the number one or the lead, if you will, in college football. They have a Heisman Trophy caliber quarterback. And they just beat another undefeated team at home. Team B was ranked in the preseason 17th. They beat the same team that Team A beat, but they beat them at home, not on the road. This Team B has a loss at home. They have the 43rd ranked scoring offense, and they've only scored 18 touchdowns. So which team should be ranked now? That's an easy answer when you don't see the brands. It's an easy answer when you don't know the team names. It's an easy answer if you forget your predetermined notion about who these teams were and what they were going to be during the course of the season. But AP voters can't do that. They're too prideful. They they care too much about their own opinion about what they thought in the preseason. So Team B is still ranked. That team is Pitt. Team A is not. That team is Kansas. I'm sure you knew I was talking about Kansas as Team A, but I bet you didn't know about Team B. That's why Kansas should be ranked. They both beat West Virginia. Kansas did it on the road. Pitt lost at home to Tennessee. And they're ranked. Their offense isn't anywhere close to what Kansas is. is. Their strength of record, not close to what Kansas has right now. Again, Kansas, sixth in strength of record. They're undefeated. Two road wins, including at a conference foe in West Virginia, at Houston, which was thought to be the best group of five team coming into the season, at least the one that was going to win the AAC, and yet they're not ranked. AP voters, be better than this. Be better than this. Stop allowing your predetermined preseason rankings, predetermined notions about what brands are, what teams are, affect the way that you rank them now. And by the way, it does matter. So don't tell me that it doesn't. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.